This is the prologue, the proper prologue of uh, episode eight that comes out of the Chankin and Stir Cold Open. And it uh, features Les and his uh, then girlfriend and future wife, Mary. It features uh, me, Sharon Lewis, Mike Wolschlager as the Cox Cable general manager. Um, and it, it's sort of, um, I think it, it's less a script. And it's a fine script. It's a fun script. It's Pete Stadler, by the way, being obstinate. Uh, it gives everybody a chance to stretch and be characters. But I think this sketch is sort of emblematic of the reason this entire episode wasn't the critical success and creative success that Seven was, Episode Seven was. And that it's we got to inside. We got to obscure humor wise now this is a show that i like i actually like it a lot i think it looks good i like how it flows but over the years whenever i looked at it and it's been many years before now that i've seen it last i've always had the feeling that it just you know we went off the rails in terms of a direction it just got way you know it, it it's for a, na a very narrow audience and we are we already had a narrow audience just because this was not meant to make money this at this series it was for local access cable and you know the whole the whole purpose was to be more mass appeal well we got away from that we rode the line uh, on episode seven, but on eight we got to inside. There's Mike Wolschlager playing Mr. Wanamaker. Les does a nice job uh, getting increasingly irate. <laughs> but <clears throat> the whole premise here is that no one believes Les is now the co-producer of Yes, This Is Comedy, even though he won an Ace and an Emmy Award. Um, it's funny in and of itself, but I think to a larger audience it's just sort of really in the weeds. And I think a a, a good portion of this episode goes in the weeds. Um, and it doesn't help that this is like the first major sketch of the show. So again, good writing, good characterizations, good performances, but I think in service to a larger idea that just went over a lot of people's heads. Um, and this, the shoot on this entire episode was laborious. We really got, um, oh, you know, ambitious with the film style approach. I mean, Yes, This Is Comedy 4, which was an hour long, jam packed, took six weeks to shoot. And YTIC 8, which is a half hour, took almost three months. So, you know, we were, we were really laboring and doing a lot of takes in a lot of different locations and you know this took many hours on a night after the Cox Cable front lobby had closed and it got laborious and it, it wasn't a it wasn't a terribly fun shoot like episode 7 was um, but seeing it again I like the episode I just don't love it this is the single shot main title of uh, Yes, This Is Comedy number 8. Diana Call is driving. John Gorsica is seated on the hood of the car with his camera shooting us uh, d being silly <laughs> on the right side of the road there. This is the road, by the way, where Cox Cable's headquarters were in Cleveland. This is the only section of the show, this particular episode, where we use an actual piece of recorded copyrighted music. It is an orchestral recording of Saber Dance, and we figured no one's going to know which version it is, so the hell with it. And if you look on the right there, we have a little teaser of the ventriloquist dummy that shows up later in the episode, playing a major role in this 